Ding. Rampage. Hey everyone, welcome back for a brand new breakdown of yet another Walking Dead trailer in this long, cold mid-season stretch of the flagship series. In less than a week, three different trailers have been put out along with episode titles and descriptions of the first three episodes coming up after the winter break is over. Behind the scenes, other important things are happening, and this video will help explain where the show is now and speculate on where it could be going in the near future. Warning, beyond this point there are spoilers for people who are not up to date on both Walking Dead series. The very first shot of this trailer, appropriately titled No Guarantees, is of someone who's been the topic of a lot of discussion in the last week, Lauren Cohen. It's been leaked to the press that Lauren has asked for a pay raise on the level of her male co-stars Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus. This hasn't been a deal breaker in the past because both actors have been on the series longer than her and tend to have more screen time. Laura needs a new contract for season 9 though, and AMC did offer her more money for a long-term contract, but she refused the offer. Lauren is reportedly fielding offers for nearly half a dozen pilots next season, which means she still has not come to an agreement with AMC. The big question here is, does this mean that Maggie could possibly be killed off by the end of season 8? We think it's possible, but unlikely. AMC would have had to already have planned her death before November when they wrapped up shooting unless they intentionally planned an open-ended finale the way Fear did for its season 3 finale. If they did plan it that way, AMC would have more power to negotiate with, but due to the lack of any comments from AMC about this matter, we're left in the dark. On the other hand, what if Maggie has already been killed off? If she had already been killed off, then she would in fact be fielding offers for a new job, as she is now, and this explanation does make sense. But story-wise, all of this is hard to swallow, especially with the expected death of Carl supposedly coming very soon. Given our limited information, we believe Lauren is using these offers to negotiate, but are not ruling out Maggie's possible death, which would be almost as big of a shock as Carl's. What if Carl somehow pulled through and Maggie was the one that ended up dying? We don't think the series could stand losing them both and that all the evidence is against Carl, but in the Walking Dead universe, you just never know. Now let's get back to the trailer. Next we see Michonne peeking out from the porch of what is probably a house in Alexandria, looking like she's just been crying. Some walkers are approaching, but it's not clear what exactly is going on here. Carol's lines here are ominous. Winning just means we get tomorrow, maybe one more night. Her extremely bleak outlook could be due to a major death. Is it Carl or Ezekiel? Next, there's two sets of shots we've already seen in the previous trailers. First, Rosita struggling with a Swamp Thing walker. We know eventually she kills it. The first part of the just released episode description of Season 8, Episode 11 appears to be referring to Daryl and his group, Rosita included, in the swamps. Who is the bad company? Does Negan also have a spy, or is it these Swamp Thing walkers? The strange thing here is the fact that they're heading to the hilltop. Is this their first trip to the hilltop after they left Alexandria's sewers, or is this after some new mission? Given the episode descriptions, we think this is how the next few episodes could play out. Episode 9 would cover the group coming up with their plan, but then staying with Rick, Michonne, and Carl in Alexandria. The story could cut back and forth between Carl's possible final moments and Carol and Morgan's rescue attempt, which we know takes place at night. Episode 10 could be about Enid and Arid's story to get the ocean side to join the fight, possibly cutting back and forth with Rick and Michonne's discovery of the garbage people walkers at the junkyard. Episode 11 will be about the rest of the group's trip to the hilltop, cutting back and forth with Father Gabriel and the doctor's trip from the sanctuary to the hilltop. All of these episodes would also have their appropriate dosage of Negan and the Savior story as they gear up for the last stand. We don't think all the main characters and communities will be united until episode 12 or 13, and that the last stand will ultimately be played out through the last two episodes and lead directly into fear, but we'll talk more about that later. We return to the trailer to see Tara with her pistol pressed to Dwight's temple, as obviously his loyalty is still in question. We believe Dwight is still a double agent loyal to Rick, but we've seen these shots before and they don't tell us anything new, except Tara's got no love for Dwight. Then we cut back to Carol inside of some kind of supply room, still in body armor, delivering the rest of her dark statement. No guarantees. Next, we cut back to a shot we've seen in the previous trailer that matches a picture released last month of what is most likely Carol and Morgan's rescue attempt for King Ezekiel. Next, we see Negan and the Saviors, and hear a line from Enid we've heard before. But this time, we hear the rest of that line and finally realize its context. The Saviors are coming, and they will wipe you out. The description of episode 10 tells us a few things. First, that Aaron's alive. And second, both Aaron and Enid are trying to recruit the Oceanside into the fight again. We already know from the previous trailers that the groups are converging for one last stand, but the Oceanside community joining the fight could be what finally tips the scales in Rick's favor. Yeah, we'll leave you alone. 
Back in this new trailer, we see Enid deliver her line in an unknown location, but the next shot actually shows us that Enid and Aaron are both at Oceanside next to Cindy, who is most likely the new leader of the community after her grandmother Natanya was accidentally killed in the mid-season finale. This confirms that Enid and Aaron are trying to recruit the Oceansiders, and hopefully Cindy will be more open-minded than her grandmother was. Next, the trailer cuts to Maggie with her mean face on, talking to one of her savior prisoners, the most reasonable of them, telling him he's the enemy. You are the enemy. Here we see Dwight again running through the woods, this time with Tara alongside him. Is this a chase, or are they splitting up and running from a common enemy? Next, we see a few more sequences we've already seen in the trailer. The first one is the setup for Negan creating his bioweapons. Next is part of Carol's attack on the kingdom to rescue Ezekiel. And third is Nabila's line to Carol about how Negan and his forces don't stand a chance. Here we see Michonne inside the shipping container. We've seen her in numerous times with Rick in the previous trailers. The next shot is of Rosita at the hilltop, looking out with a pair of binoculars. Could this be the moment where Negan arrives and the last stand begins? Pissing our pants yet? These clips are also ones we've seen in the other trailers. Maggie aiming a gun at someone and Carol looking lost and maybe a little scared in the woods. There have been some rumors that Carol may also die in the coming episodes and this shot doesn't make it look good for her. However, as far as we can tell, the rumor started from a supposed audio leak that was horrible quality and seemed to be a counterfeit as it reused obscure audio from old episodes. So we think at least for now, Carol's safe. To recap, the big thing we've learned from this trailer is that Aaron's definitely alive and he and Enid are trying to recruit the Oceanside into the fight. Since the garbage people have been exterminated, Oceanside is the only known community left that can help turn the tides of the war. In other news, Robert Kirkman has been very vocal the last few weeks and has made numerous statements about longtime theories, as well as giving us some kind of hope for Carl. But in the just released Walking Dead issue number 176, Kirkman does in fact confirm that the Walking Dead and Fear crossover will not be a flashback and that Fear Season 4 will be a continuation of the Walking Dead Season 8. We have suspected this since the beginning, but it's great to get an actual confirmation. This is also confirmation that no matter what happens in All Out War, Morgan won't die. That's it for our video, folks. Thanks so much for watching and supporting our channel, as we've just hit 2,500 subs and 750,000 total views. We're going to keep making quality videos for everyone who supported us while we work on our next goal of 5,000 subs and 1 million views. We want to take this time to shout out fellow YouTubers It's K Fox. Judas the Saint, and Luis Furman for all their encouragement and support when our channel first started and everyone else that has been with us since our first video. Shane. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Turn on the notifications button for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.